Aggie, I was going to start with the day that we met, which is uh, about 40 years, 45 years ago. And you had just moved to Concord from Greenwich, and your brother Graham brought me over, over to your house. And it was this huge house in Concord with all boxes and mosquitoes and children. And I remember asking you, what are you doing here? And you said, well, my husband is going to law school. And you said, he is, and I said, where is he? And you said, he's fishing. And I thought, this is a real generous person to <laughs> let her husband go fishing when she has to go through this move and be so nice about it. So tell me about moving to Concord. How was it to leave Greenwich and have such a big change in your life? It was sort of a big move, but one of the things that made it really different was we had a place on the lawn to put the Oldenburg met. And one time we had Lippincott, which were the people that moved it for us. And they were these big, very sturdy, um, muscly men that came to move it, the same ones that had moved it um, originally to Greenwich and then up to the library, which, which it was at before we took it in and um, took it to Concord. And I thought, what should I give them? And at that time, kiwi fruit and quiche were the in things. So I decided to give this muscular man kiwi fruit and quiche. And of course, that was they didn't know what. Before uh, real men don't eat quiche, remember? Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was so funny. But the funny thing about being there with the mosquitoes is we had to be there overnight one night when we'd had to keep the doors open the whole time, the windows and doors. So the place was just rampant with mosquitoes. So I took this mosquito spray and sprayed it, you know, on the kids. And I was so worried that they would be dead the next day <laughs> because of this mosquito spray. But in the so. midst of all of this, you managed to produce dinner. You made dinner for us, remember? 